In this video, we're going to see how to work with the new live link working with geometry backgrounds. Now, usually what we do is to use this button here at the top left here in the library backgrounds to add custom backgrounds. Now, every time we make a change in, let's say, 3ds Max, for example, uh, to our background model, we need to export it to FBX, for example, and then import it back here. Now, with the new live link, we can do it right inside 3ds Max. Let's go to 3ds Max that I have synchronized with the anima scene. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the same scene. But in this case, I have the same scene and plus this object here. Okay, this is a new place where I want to, a privileged place, let's say, a VIP uh, area where I want to um, place more people, okay, more actors. So how can we go to Anima with this? Well, usually we would select everything, in, uh, every model, we would export it to FBX, and as I told you, import in Anima. This is a bit manual, this case. It's still possible to be done this way, but this is a new way. So what we do is to select the anima object here in the scene, as you can see. Okay, we go to the properties in the modify panel and we go to this geometry background. Okay, and as you can see, I already have here hmm, the stage tribunes, which is this object here. Okay, this one. Now, usually that list is not uh, filled. Okay, it's empty. So in this case, for example, I'm going to use the remove button to remove an object from the list. Okay, this is something that you can you can do. You are working on it. You can add objects. You can remove objects. Okay, so this is this actually the situation you would be facing. So how can we add? Well, we have an add button. Okay, so I can click add and I can pick objects, and they are automatically added to the list. Or we can select from a list using this other button. Then this pop-up window appears and here I can select the new objects I want to add to the list. Okay, so I click add and there we have both. Now, one important thing is that since in Anima, Anima cannot, uh, cannot know what objects, models we want to use as background models, we need to add in this list everything we want not just the object we want to add to the anima scene okay that's quite important so now the only thing we need to do is to send to anima okay so we go to anima and there you have it okay real time updated now the good thing here what we can do is now i can start working with this so i can for example place new characters there okay something like this characters like this and other character like this okay so now that i have updated my anim my simulation elements here my actors and characters in the anima scene i can save the scene and then go back to 3ds max and thanks to the live link the max scene will be updated Okay, so just a second that Max is updated and then we would we should have those two more characters exactly placed there. Now we want to see also the uh, textures. So we select, keep selected the anima object and we click on show textures on viewport and in a few seconds we see them. Okay, so as you can see, this is another feature of the active link, anima live link, sorry, we have between these two programs and this is a, a faster and better way to work with okay you can still uh, still import uh, backgrounds the old way it depends on your workflow okay so for this video we stop here i'll see you in the next one